Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm gonna try this freshness guaranteed heat and eat meal. This is a um, Walmart brand. Um, it's the enchiladas, chicken enchiladas topped with a traditional enchilada sauce. This is uh, 11 ounces or 312 grams. Like I said, this is a Walmart brand. We bought it at Walmart. It was $5.50 and it's sold in like their deli area and it is a ready to eat. It's not a, it's not frozen. Uh, one of the things they want you to do is pull the sticker off. So let me, um, hold on. Let me get the sticker off first and then I'll go through everything else because I, I really don't want to flip the package upside down because it's uh, it'll just get all over the lid. Hold on, make a noise. Well, that didn't work very well, but anyway. All right, so the calories is 480 calories for the meal. There it is, and um, there's your rest of your information. I'll pull the rest of that sticker off in just a second. So um, to microwave, here we go. So we're going to remove the label, like I said, remove the label, and we're going to peel back corner of filmed event. I mark it high for three and a half minutes or until internal temperature reaches 165. Let it rest for one minute before serving. So three and a half minutes. That's what we have to put it in for. Um, I don't like the sticker. Honestly, I'd rather it just be a, like a cardboard wrap or something. I don't know why they've done stickers. Not a good idea because it doesn't want to come off there anyway. Um, so yeah, anyway, there it is. It looks like there's two in there, um, one right after the other. So I'm going to vent this. doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to pull a corner up, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I'm going to separate this just a little bit. It, did get, it looks like it's a little dry on the edges, but then again... I break it up and it's not too bad. It looks like there's um, definitely rice and black beans in these. Um, let's see if I can cut one in half and see, see what's inside of one. Here's what's inside. These feel like they're, um, you know, most enchiladas get really um, kind of mushy because they have so much sauce on them. These look like they're um, they're firmer, but they don't have as much sauce. So um, you can kind of see inside of those. So the, I can see the chicken inside. So I'm gonna cut these up a little bit, um, just to let them cool off. Yeah, you got tons of chicken in there. Look at that, big hunks of chicken. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna let these cool off for a minute and um, get them over the table and uh, give them a try. Hey, I gave it just a minute to cool off. So I just got a, one of the bites I cut and it's got some of the rice and the sauce and the beans um, on there as well. So here we go, it's a big bite. The tortilla when I was cutting it, like I said, it wasn't really mushy, but it is very tender. It's not um, it's not tough or hard or anything like that. Um, it's not dry out, um, but it is very soft. It's not quite mushy, but it's but it's soft. There's definitely some spice to it, um, which is what I would expect with an enchilada. There's also some um, like a smoky pepper kind of flavor. Not pep peppers, not pepper. -er. I got one of the black beans in that bite, and um, they're a little hard, which a lot of times black beans are. There's also a, um, hold on. I think the sauce itself has a little bit of a bitter flavor. Let me try just the rice, that way I'm not getting a bean. Yeah, the aftertaste for that sauce is kind of bitter, and it has a bitter, um, like on the back of your tongue, kind of on the side of your tongues. Um, I don't know, it comes across, well, it's actually all in my mouth. It's a bitter aftertaste. Um, the chicken itself is really good and tender. I really like the, the, the amount of chicken you get in the size. Good and tender, um, not dry at all. I really like the chicken. Um, I like the texture and the flavor of the tortillas. I don't necessarily like the sauce. The sauce for me, that bitter flavor is really, really coming through strong. Yeah, and it's in the enchilada sauce. If I could just pick the um, the chicken out of the tortillas, um, that's probably how I'd eat this because I don't like the sauce at all. Um, it comes across as bitter to me. Now, if you try these, you may not think they're bitter at all. They may not. They may not come across as bitter to you. Yeah, the chicken is good. Um, 
but that sauce is a very, very bitter aftertaste to me, to my taste buds. Um, this one for me is a three out of five. It's okay. I could eat it. Um, the bitterness, like I said, is pretty strong, but it's, um, I could get over it. I could live with it, but it is, it is very bitter. Um, I would enjoy this better if it didn't have the sauce or they took whatever that seasoning or spice or whatever that is that makes it bitter, um, take it out and then I would be good to go with it. Cause I do like the textures. Um, I do like that kind of smoky peppers flavor. Uh, I like that. I just don't like that bitter aftertaste. So three out of five for me. Um, you find these in the deli section, by the way. They're um, they're where you find the like the where you buy sliced meat and um, like lunch deli lunch meat and like where they sell their chicken and fried chickens and stuff like that. Um, it's back there in that section. So uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.